all seven patients who underwent face transplantation at Brigham and Women's Hospital had bony models printed similar to this. The bone model allows us to appreciate the geometry of the bone structures in patients who have had catastrophic injuries to the face. And it's only by having this printed model that we can actually understand the complex relationships of the bone and then plan the surgeries accordingly. We've undergone soft tissue printing, and this is actually a 3D printed model of Carmen Tarleton's face after her injury and when she presented to us. And you can see that there are almost very, very paper thin tissues in the soft tissue model. And that's because Carmen had undergone this catastrophic injury and had over 60 surgeries before she came to us. And her face was made basically just grafts and scar tissue. And so very, very thin amounts of tissue were available for her. And this is why she had so much deformity and more importantly, functional deficits and enormous pain associated with that scar tissue that moved when she tried to smile or move any of the muscles in her face.